Well, it's kind of interesting from the macro perspective, um, if they lose the House and they keep the Senate, what you get is gridlock. There'll be no more spending bills for the next two years because there'll be nothing done in Washington in that situation, which is good for the markets, for the equity markets. Remarkably, it's kind of indifferent for Bitcoin and crypto because what you find in all of these bills is bipartisan support which is really something else. You, you, you look at Haggerty and Gildebrandt, that's their bill, which contemplates Bitcoin as a commodity, and it deals with NFTs and lots of others. But there's 21 bills floating around the Senate and the Hill, and they're all bipartisan. So it doesn't really matter what happens. The only reason there's no crypto policy is everybody's focused on November 8th. But when, when they sit again in the back end of the year and they come back from holiday, they're still supporting crypto. Most most both parties like the idea of some regulation on crypto. So it's more about the gridlock of getting no more spending bills that may the market may like, because most of market participants have seen enough spending. I mean, it's just, we, you know, we first we did the six trillion and then we did the anti-inflation act, which was very inflationary. And then we gave the students back all their debt, which is nuts. And so everybody's sick of the spending. I think that's the opportunity for equities doesn't really change the outcome of Bitcoin. That will one day be regulated.